morning reception. Well, it's snowing. So I thought I would read you my favourite story. When it snows, it reminds me of the story. One snowy night. And it's by the author, Nick Butterworth. You can see the title. One snowy night. It was cold in the park in winter, but Percy the cat park keeper didn't mind. He put on his warm coat and his big scarf and he wears two pairs of woolly socks inside his Wellington boots. Percy likes to be out in the fresh air. In the middle of the park there was a little hut. This is where Percy lives. When it gets cold, too cold to be outside, Percy goes into his hut where it's nice and warm and cosy. The animals who live in the park all know Percy the park keeper and they all know where his hut is. Every day he shares his lunch with them. One winter's night was so cold that it began to snow. A great big snowflake fell past the window of Percy's hut. Boo, said Percy. I think I need an extra blanket tonight. So he made himself some hot cocoa and got ready for bed. Suddenly, Percy heard a tapping sound. could that be at this time of night thought Percy and he went to the door and he looked outside there on the doorstep was a little squirrel it looked very cold and miserable and he couldn't get to sleep I can't go to sleep Percy said the squirrel my bed is full of snow oh dear said Percy never mind I've got plenty of room for two. So the squirrel snuggled down next to Percy and soon he began to feel warm. When there was another knock at the door. Who could that be, thought Percy. Standing there outside were two shivering rabbits. It's freezing, said one rabbit. We're frozen, said the other. You poor thing, said Percy. Come in and warm up. The rabbit squeezed into bed next to Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. Could you face the other way, Percy asked the squirrel. Your tail's tickling my nose. Then. dear said Percy now there's someone else at the door I wonder who that could be there at the door was a fox he looked very cold and hungry can I come in too he asked Percy scratched his head mm. he thought for a minute well if you promise to behave he said promise said the fox and he squeezed into bed next to all the other animals bump oops the squirrel fell out who did that said the squirrel crossly then what do you think will happen there was a knock at the door good gracious said Percy it's the door again this time, Percy had quite a surprise because there on the doorstep was one badger, two ducks, a hedgehog and a whole family of mice. They all wanted a bed for the night. Poor old Percy and poor old Percy's bed. 
the animals pushed and they shoved. They rolled around, but there was not, just not enough room for them all. Soon the bed covers ended up in a big tight ball. Then there was a bump. The covers rolled right off the bed and everyone fell onto the floor. Oh dear, said Percy. This just won't do at all. This bed is just too small. Suddenly, one of the mice pricked up its ears. <gasps> What's that noise? Everyone listened hard. Now, all they could do was listen. There was a scratching and a scraping. It seemed to be coming from underneath them. There's something moving under the floor, whispered Percy. The animals looked frightened and the mice all started to squeak. Oh dear, what could it be? It might be a monster with fierce claws and sharp teeth. The noise grew louder and louder. Then one of the floorboards began to move. Look, it's coming up through the floor. Suddenly, there was a loud creak. Help, cried the animals. And they all ran to hide. But Percy wasn't frightened. In fact, he started to chuckle. And then he laughed out loud. Because there, sticking up through the floorboards, was something small with a dark head. Oh, what could it be? It wasn't a monster. No, it was the best creature of all. A mole. I'm sorry to burst in like this, said the mole. I knocked on the door, but nobody heard me. Percy helped the mole through the hole in the hole in in the floor. So he sat with him and put him on the hot water bottle to get him warm. He put the floorboard back. It's all right everyone, you can come out now, he said. But nobody moved. Nobody stirred. Nobody wanted to come out. The squirrel had tucked away in the pocket of Percy's dressing gown. The hedgehog was in his coat, the fox, the rabbits and the badgers and the ducks were all safely hidden away. The mice had even squeezed themselves into Percy's slippers. Everyone had found a nice cosy bed. Well I never said Percy. Percy yawned, <gasps> snuggled down in his own bed once again. That's better. Now I've got plenty of room, he said, and there is just one little spare space for the mole. A lovely story to read on a snow day. Enjoy your weekend in the snow. Bye-bye.